y'all, I'm on my way to Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I'm gonna go up there and get parked for the night. I wanted to deal with this comment that I see a lot in my videos, or I guess a version of this comment. I see a lot of my videos. I got a long, uh, <laughs> a long email about it as well. As to, I'm what's wrong with the black community. And the reason I'm what's wrong with the black community is because I fathered children with multiple women and I didn't marry any of them. All right? I want to deal with this. I'm going to take my time through this. We're going to have a conversation, okay? Now, I guess the reason this, this comment throws me off is because I've never got on these videos and bragged about the fact that I have multiple children, multiple women, never pushed that lifestyle, never said it was easy, never said it's what your brother should be doing. I've done nothing of the sort. You that have been watching my videos for years know this. I simply talk about the fathering aspect of, you know, what I do. I may share stories about my children, things like that, right? And I feel as though a lot of times what people are doing is projecting. Projecting whether it be their father's failure, their uncles, their grandpa, or, you know, maybe their cousin, their brother. They're projecting their failures onto me. Because I've been told that it's, it's impossible that you take care of your kids. Now, the, the craziest thing about this is that... I don't understand what what you mean when you say it's impossible. Like there's no way you take care of those kids. There's no way you're an effective father. I'm told it's an impossibility, right? And I would argue that if the black community had fathers like me, we'd be in a completely different state completely different completely reversed state now again I said as a father I'm not saying as a person because I don't you know I've done some shit in my life that's been fucked up I done told some lies we're not talking about me as a person we're talking about me as a father and I would argue that the black community could stand to have many more fathers like me because the type of father I am is no matter what, I'm going to be a father. No matter what. No matter the situation, no matter the likeness of the, um, the child's mother, it, no, none of that shit matter. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to be a father and I'm going to raise my kids together. You see. Let's take a walk back. All right. Let's take a, let's, let's, let's go back a ways because I like how... Um, you know, we have this idea that marriage is the cure-all for um, the black community. Let's go back, right? Let's go back into the days of our grandparents. Somehow this is looked at as the golden age of black folk. During this time, grandpa was out here having what they called at the time illegitimate children that's what they were called I think it's fucked up but I mean this is what happened illegitimate children had on the other side of town all while grandpa married and what grandpa did in this situation is that he turned his back on the child or on uh, you know on the child and the mom he just turned his back on him he said, fuck you, I'm going to um, make my marriage work. So in order to make this woman happy and to make her forgive me, I'm going to turn my back on the child I created. This is, a, this, is, this is a real life shit right here. Not making this up. You know, you talk to older people, this shit didn't happen to people, even people in my age group, that, you know, their dads just turn their back on them. Or... We'll come forward a little ways. Or you have fathers that will go completely AWOL. Who don't give a fuck? Who will be married 
and leave the children, the wife, or whatever, and turn their back on them. I'm not talking about just leaving a woman. Because there's a difference in between leaving the woman and leaving your the woman and the child. There's a big difference here. A lot of people got it confused. A lot of men will not only leave the woman, but will also turn their back on their child. To that, I'm completely against. This is really happening. Some of our fathers out here turn to drugs, hard drugs, alcoholism, were abusive all up in the homes. Didn't wasn't helpful, just was there. He was a body that existed. Wasn't really necessarily helpful and a lot of times called a uh, cause toxic uh, environments in their households. This is what's really going on out here. And as I do feel that a man is going to be more effective in the household. I do not feel that if a man is not in the household, that renders him completely ineffective. And I've seen vice versa. I've seen men be in the household and they're just there and they're being completely ineffective. Some of y'all got dads that you hate that done turned it back on you, on your mama, turned it back on you. So you come into me projecting. Since your father and it was impossible for him to take care of you and be in your life, well, you think that's what's going on with me. The black community can be much better off if they had fathers like me. No matter what. Them no matter what dads. The ones that don't get credit out here, if you ask me, but them no matter what dads. No matter the situation, they're going to try their fucking best to make the shit work. They're not going to go get a new girlfriend, have a kid with her, and decide that he don't give a fuck about his other children. These things are happening. Go get remarried and don't give a fuck about the kids he may have had from his initial marriage or his first marriage even. These things are really happening out here. A lot of y'all, daddy's wasn't there. You ain't never seen no man take care of no kids in multiple households. You've never seen a man put forth the goddamn effort into doing so. Speaks very highly, or very poorly, rather, of the experiences and the environments that you've been in. Like, I don't know what the fuck y'all saw. I don't know what happened. But I know it ain't daddies like me. It ain't fathers like me that's the reason the black community fucked up. Oh, hell no. Nah. Y'all not about to tie that on me. Y'all not about to do that shit to me. I'm not like your dad. I'm not like your grandpa. I'm not like your homeboy. I'm not like your cousin. I'm not like your kid's dad. Y'all can't project the fuckery that you've had going on in your life. You can't project that onto me. It's not going to work. I'm not sitting here proud. I just know as a father, I know what I have to do. I know what I'm supposed to do. Period. And nothing's going to stop me from doing that. That's what I believe in. Not because I saw it coming up. Because I didn't see it coming up. I saw fathers that were willing to turn their back to make a woman happy, to keep their family together. I saw fathers turn to the streets instead of taking care of their children. I've seen uh, uh, fathers put random ass other women in front of their children and not give a fuck. I've seen fathers that ha- may have a, a, a child's mom that's difficult to deal with, so they just won't give a fuck about the kid at all. I've seen uh, fathers that, hell, if they stop fucking the woman, then they don't give a fuck about the kid. If she won't fuck them no more, if they get a new husband or boyfriend or something like that, the dad will not be interested. He'll be jealous and he'll take that out on the kid. I've seen all types of shit in my lifetime. I never saw an example of anybody that was uh, uh, really doing what the fuck I've done. I didn't have an example of that. Because it ain't happening out here. So I see why y'all saying what y'all saying to me. But y'all got me fucked up. 
I understand it to a point. But then there's, well, I, I don't know who the fuck you talking to. Don't know who you talking about, but you have me confused with your family, with your daddy, with your people, your baby daddy. You got me confused with these motherfuckers. A lot of black men, again, that will use this talking point to try to, you know, try to shame me in some type of way because they can't talk about what I'm talking about. They won't necessarily deal with the issues and or, or, or uh, the way I present my videos or any of my talking points on my videos. What well, they didn't want to talk about and, uh, you know, assume what type of dad I am or you out here just having kids all willy nil. Because my talking points they can't deal with. They don't want to deal with those. So instead they will try to come at me as far as my personal life is concerned. And not even my actual personal life. They'll just create whatever the fuck they want to create. Based on the situation. They'll create whatever narrative they tie to that. As to whatever's happened to them. Or whatever they are witnessing in their lives. Y'all can't do that. Y'all can't do that. I would have to be the type of man who doesn't take care of his children or who has been in a situation where I decided that taking care of my children or being in their lives was a lackluster option. Or I get on these videos and promote men having uh, multiple children with multiple women. I don't do any of that shit. So y'all gonna have to come up with another way because you, you, you can't shame me with this stuff. Because you're not even talking to me. And if you were being realistic, which I know you're not, you're just trying to find a way to come at me. If you were actually being realistic, the black community been needing uh, fathers like me the whole fucking time. They've been needing fathers like me. You could have used a father like me. You'd know who your daddy is. He'd have been there. At the schools. He'd have been helping you with your fucking homework. He'd have been getting on your ass too. He'd have been teaching you. Schooling you. Putting you up on game about life. Schooling you on the mistakes that he's made. So in hopes that you wouldn't make the same mistakes. He'd have been helping your mom. You would have saw them have a, at least cordial relationship. See them get along. Even if everybody has moved on. Y'all don't know nothing about that. You motherfuckers are dysfunctional. You don't know shit about anything if it's not dysfunctional. Y'all don't know shit about that. You don't know what it's like to see your dad and mom at the same birthday party. Both of them loving you. Doing what they, doing what they gotta do for you. At events for you, not hating each other, being proud of the child that they had. Y'all don't know nothing about that because y'all are dysfunctional. So you'll project that dysfunction onto me. Now I'm not about to sit here and act like it's just been fucking peaches and cream the whole fucking time. It's been work. And I don't suggest nobody put themselves in a situation where they're having to do this. But if you are, if you do end up in that situation, you do not lack off. You don't slack off. You don't make excuses. You do what the fuck you got to do to be in your kids' lives and to be effective in their lives. You do what you got to do. You do what you got to do. I don't give a damn what it takes. I don't give a damn what y'all excuses are. This is something that we have to do as a people. Y'all cannot come to me, tell me I'm what's wrong with the black community because I have children with multiple women. No, that's not the issue in the black community. The issue in the black community is dysfunction. Fathers not being there for their children at all. Mothers left being left to fend on their own in every way, never getting any support, never getting any fucking breaks from the kids, never getting anything. That's the problem. That's what's taking place in the black community. Father's just disappearing. 
turn into the streets, turn their back on their on their children. This is what's affecting the black community. Not not just the fact that men having multiple women, uh, multiple children with women. That's not it. And y'all gonna stop goddamn lying too. I don't know what the fuck reality y'all been studying, but y'all y'all ain't studying this one. Y'all ain't studying this one. Y'all just saying shit in hopes that it will, you know, cause me shame or cause me some issue. It just it just doesn't. What it does is it makes me, uh, uh, you know, I guess it just puts things into perspective for me as to how a lot of y'all black folks was raised. A lot of the situations that you may have found yourself in uh, with your father. And it's sad. It's sad as fuck. And I'm sorry, you know, that the motherfucker wasn't there, but you can't project that shit on me. I'm sorry him and your mom couldn't decide to get along, uh, you know, for you. I, I'm sorry. But you can't project that on me. Like, I don't, I, I understand that we're used to dysfunction as to where, you know, uh, I guess with me and, and strengthening and trying to build the relationship with um, and, and have a one mindset about how I wanted my children to be raised, regardless of the mothers. Well, we got to make, we need to be putting forth some function for our children because it's about them. It's about them. Your kid's mom should be able to be at least cordial. I mean, I, some of some of the kids' moms and stuff be having some deep history and a lot of fuckery that went on. But at some point, you, you, you know, y'all got kids together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, either y'all got kids with the same man or whatever. And you got to... The man really needs to be the facilitator in that, trying to bridge that gap and bring, and bring everybody together. Because the rest of the shit don't make no sense. I know that's what y'all used to seeing. But, you know, my shit ain't like that. It ain't no goddamn cakewalk or nothing like that because you're dealing with different personalities and things like that. But, but, our kids need to see function. Fathers, you need to stay close. Mothers, you need to allow this. Even if there may be a situation where, you know, you're in disagreement with something he's... Um, how he's affected you on a personal level. But give him a chance to be a father. If he wants that chance. A lot of women, and shout out to the women, the mothers out here, that are extending their hands, that are trying to give the chances, but the fathers, the motherfuckers y'all think I am, are not doing their part. They won't meet you halfway. Hell, some of y'all come in goddamn three-fourths of the way, and this motherfucker won't even meet you a fourth. And I apologize for that. I'm sorry this happened. I'm sorry you're experiencing it. And, 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 and sorry your kid is having to experience that. But don't project onto me. Don't do that. It's some bullshit. And I figured I would come in here and deal with it because I'm seeing those types of comments a lot. I get it. I understand what's being said. And, you know, if I could go back and, and if I could get a do over and do it differently, you know, I would. But that's not the option that I have. I'm not, I don't have a fucking DeLorean. So I had to make what I make the situation that I put myself in, I had to make that work. And be an effective father at the same fucking time. That's the type of fathers that the black community could have been used a long time ago. Those type of fathers, I mean, if you ask me, that's the type of fathers that the black community needs. No matter what, I'll be here. Period. But, you know, I don't think this is going to, you know, make a difference as to how people, uh, you know, what they're going to say to try to get at me or whatever like that. But, I mean, I figured I would come in and put it out because I do see a lot of projection happening in these comments. Um, some of the things that are said, a lot of these uh, bitch ass niggas out here who can't think of anything else to say to me, they'll try this, um, you know, because they can't deal with my talking points and they can't come against those. So therefore, they'll try, you know, other ways to get at me. But th this is a, it's not going to work. 
this 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 won't be a working way you can get at me. Um, you can talk about my talking points. Y'all could try that for for a change. You know what I'm saying? Before a switch up, you can just talk about the stuff I talk about on my videos. And if you hear something in there that you know you have a very big issue with, then we can go and we can do that. But me as a dad, no, y'all could have used me. Matter of fact, you could have used me. I'm sure I'm, I'm talking to you very directly. You could have used me. You needed some help with that homework. You didn't have it, did you? Motherfucker wouldn't come up to the school, to your games, no support. Didn't help your mom out financially. He, he, he just wasn't there, was he? I'm sorry. I really am. But that ain't me. Not my situation. I'm out here doing the work that, you know, a lot of fathers aren't doing. Because it is hard. And a lot of times, when shit is hard, we have a tendency to give up. I know how it is. I get it. But we gotta do better, y'all. We gotta do better. And y'all gotta figure out some more shit to say to me. For real. Point out some lies in my videos or something. Y'all can do something different. Don't be mad and then just call yourself talking about what I am as a dad and you don't even know. You know nothing but the surface and that's that I have kids with multiple women. That's all you know. That's it. That's all. And you have to really think about the fact that if the black community have fathers like me, fathers that are willing to take whatever ails happen and still be a father for their children, then the black community will be in a much better place. Now, if you disagree with that overall, then comment on that. That'll make sense. If you believe that, you know, uh, 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 that no, nah, that's not the case, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, then, then you can say that. Yeah, I'm a pro I don't have a problem with stuff like that. But I believe that we need present fathers. They don't have to be in the household, but they need to be there. They need to be reachable, and they need to be there in the child rearing aspect, and financially, if they can be, be there financially as well. Do whatever it fucking takes. Because now a lot of y'all's kids, they gonna project they a little dysfunctional ass childhood on other people. And that's what I'm dealing with. People who don't know what it's like to have their stepbrother or sister there with them, spending time together consistently. Having the kids' moms throw parties for the kids together. Y'all don't know shit about that. Dysfunctional. This is all y'all motherfuckers know. But I don't run off on this shit long enough. Mad love to the people that are still in here with me right now. Um, but y'all comment, you know, if you feel me to comment, um, you know, whatever, if you're mad, you can, you can comment your anger, whatever you gotta do, but I, I really do feel as though if we had fathers that decided they was gonna be there, we'd be, um, we'd be much better off as a people, and as a community, a lot of these children that grew to be adults wouldn't have some of this baggage that they have, um, I think they would have been much better off. And, um, and yeah, so, you know, uh, y'all like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, links to follow me on social media in the description box, black first, second, and third, shout out Team Rob, y'all already know what the fuck it is, I'm out.